Bro, not again. Not another part of this movie. I thought I escaped. I was lied to. Hey, this time I'm the math master. I will help you get through this proof and maybe leave this universe. Why are you a math master now? I thought you were the game master. Now I have to do math? This is great. Fine, I'll listen to you because I know if I don't listen to you from last time, you'll kill me. Look at the proof in front of you and prove angle EAB is congruent to angle EBA. Uh, why is there like the start of a flowchart on my wall? Okay, prove that angle EAB is congruent to angle EBA. Okay. Okay, so you want me to prove this proof, right? All right. Look at it. All right, done. Cool. No. Uh -huh. Prove how. We mean prove how I have to do in the mathematical sense, do I? Fine. Remember, it's me in control. So you again have to traverse this universe and find frag- I mean evidence to prove the congruence. Dude, I ain't finding your fragments. I'm good. But I, I know you tried to go past it like you didn't say it, but I have to find evidence to prove the congruence. Okay, then I know this is you, Game Master, so where's the shrine? Your wall is a flowchart. Oh, wait, I forgot it's a flowchart. Um, yeah, that wall with the flowchart on it. Okay, how do I draw them, the arrows? Figure it out yourself. Wait, what's this? Why are there like 20 sheets of... Okay, I guess that's my arrows. Now I don't have to complain about it. <sighs> Wait, how am I supposed to do paragraph and column proof? When you get your flowchart correct, we'll provide you a column proof for you to read off and show. Oh, and so for the paragraph proof, I'll, I'll just read it from the thing. Okay, that's... <laughs> Bro, why are you doing this to me? Use tape to attach flowchart to the wall. Dude, I get that. A tape can't just magically glue itself to a wall, okay? I'm not stupid. Also, if you get anything wrong, you will restart, but we'll either have to be killed or fight the hooded dude from the movie. John, I know that's your name. Please don't put me against that hooded dude from the movie, bro. He had metal pole, wooden pole, and other things to defeat me. I think I'm okay. I'm not really trying to die and fight that dude. Please go to the office, which has been abandoned, and start your first problem. Okay, fine. Ooh, a highlighter. Perfect. Um... Guess that's okay. Oh, there's no code here. Good. It's so dark. Now, where is the evidence for this flowchart? Man. Dude, it's just empty in here. What is this? Is this a gun? What? That's scary. Oh! Circle the correct statement and reason. Cut out the incorrect ones. Alright, this seems easy. Circle the correct statement. Okay. Ignore where it says cut. DC and AB is parallel. DE and AB is parallel. AE and CE is parallel. I forgot the paper. Okay. I think it's... I will die if I get it wrong. Maybe I should go get the paper. All right, let's see which is correct. DC and AB. Ah, DE and AB. It's kind of parallel, but I don't know if that'd be right. AE and CE. AE. So it's DC and AB. Oh, do I take this sheet of paper now? Uh, 
Oh, I guess I'll take it. Let me stack it on top. Oh. Take the paper. Next one is the empty bedroom. Oh, uh, okay. All right. I uh, don't need this room no more. At least I don't think. Where could the next... Well, it said it's in the empty bedroom. I hope I guess. Oops. Ooh, empty bedroom. Oh my god, well, okay, this is gonna take a while. I don't know where it'll be. I wonder where it'll be, though. Dude, not again. Stop shooting the doors. This isn't Game Master. You're Map Master. Let me out, please. One plus one equals three. Okay, I'm stupid. All right, let's just find this proof, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna leave you on the floor. Temporarily. Is it, is it behind this? Uh, nope. Where? Oh my, that's wild. Oops, stepped on a nail. Circle the correct statement and reason. Cut out the incorrect ones. D, wait. D, E equals C, B in bisects. What? No. Measure of angle B is equal to measure of angle A for C, B, C, T, C. Measure of angle B, measure of angle A, that's correct. C, B, C, T, C. That's not, okay. D, A, and C, B is parallel. Yes. Oh my god, this is tall. D A C B. Okay. Oh, I'm supposed to take this. Alright. Let's add this to my oh wait, hold up. Sorry, this tape. Let's just there. No, not my angle congruence. Okay. <sighs> All right. Okay. Next one is in your closet. Why'd you put it in my closet? Like, okay, let's pick all this stuff up. Okay. Let's go to my closet. Probably won't need this room, hopefully. Keep lights on, you'll need it later. Great. I guess I just keep it on then. My closet. Let's go there. Oh, my closet. Let me leave my stuff right outside the closet door. All right, it's dark in here. Okay, where am I gonna find it in this messy closet? There's no congruence example. I guess I'll just leave. Uh, okay. Cut, circle the correct statement or reason. Rectangle, given. Well, of course it's a rectangle. Oh, give me this real quick. Wait, where's the thing? Okay, thank you. Angle E is midpoint of DC, and it's given. Yes. Paycheck. Okay, well, I think... Oh, sorry. I think we know the correct answer. And I'll have to do this with my offhand. Uh -huh. Alright, let me put the, sh the marker down. I almost said Sharpie. Dude, it's not even a marker. It's a highlighter. Alright. Let's get this little boy down. Get the tape off. Mm. Probably won't need that anymore. Take this, put it there. All right, all right. Also, what in the world is paycheck? No response, all right. Go to the front door. 
Are you placing these as I'm doing this? Yes. You didn't have time to prepare, didn't you? No response again. Wild. All right. Grab all my stuff. Oops. Almost forgot a <laughs> congruence paper. I probably could leave these here. I don't know. The Game master sketchy. He just kind of changes rooms without me knowing. Like, who knows? If Ryan might be in a whole different place and I'll just be confused. Oh. This is the front door. Okay. Why is it so high? Which four angles are congruent to each other and what angle are they? A, B, C, and D. Oh, this is easy. Wait, why is there a QR code? My Panera Bread promo code. Yeah, like you'll use Panera. But let me scan this. This is mine. Uh, okay, let's see what this goes to. <laughs> All right, let's see what this is. It's loading. Why is it loading YouTube? But I thought you said this was Panera. Yeah. All right, let's actually answer this. Cut that off. Okay. Dude, why is it so hot? Uh, uh, A, B, C, D, E. Ooh. Why would you do this? Okay. Put this back in the marker. Oh, I gotta grab that now. Oh, ripped the paper, thanks. Maybe I need the tape. Okay, well, I'll go get those later. It's fine. Come on, bro, give me the paper. Well, okay. No! All right, all right, oh. Go to the room of low jumps. And not the one next to the room of high jumps? Yes. Also, I still hate you for the Rick World thing. That was so immature. Anyways, let me go to the room of low, low jumps. Let me put the rest of these papers back in the, sh in the room so I don't have to carry them everywhere. Cause I'm getting tired of carrying these things. Okay. Dude, I hate that this game master thing keeps putting me in alternate dimensions. It's so childish. If I say that, he's going to hear me. He's going to shoot me. Let's not go that path. Okay, the room of low jumps. I wonder what that is. It's probably this room right here. Ugh. No light? Never mind. All right, let's go. Oh. Let's leave this right here. That's so crazy. Haha, <laughs> it didn't lock. That's so crazy. Okay. What do I have to... Oh, oh. So easy. All right, there's a statement. The shape's a rectangle, okay. Triangle ABE is inside rectangle DABC. All right. All right, there are two statements. You'll need them. Take them. What I just said. Go to the garage. Dude, not the garage. Okay, I'm at least take these. Where's the second one? A, B, E, okay. Good, I don't have to write anything. I would have cried. I'm kidding. I don't think I'll need this room anymore. Just in case, though. Bro, how is Game Master locking my doors? I'm so confused. Dude, 
don't think I need the upstairs anymore. Let's just switch it off. Keep going. Sorry, I stepped. I stepped wrong, it's fine. All right, let's put these down. All right, so we still need the chart, the DA BC rectangle. All right, let's go to the garage. All right, garage time. This one I'm going to close myself because this is a little, oh, there's a proof. Circle the correct statement. Let's see. All right. FC is congruent to DE with CPCDC. What? Wait, that doesn't make sense. Wait, wait, F. There's no F. Okay. AE and BE. Lines are congruent because triangle is in the rectangle and the top point E is the midpoint of DC. Okay, yeah, and it's also the one. Hey, um, math master, I think you're stupid. One dollar does not equal one euro, or how much that is. It may be in the future, but not right now. Uh, let me put, uh, let me just leave that there. Thank you. Right. A E and B E. All right. Let's put this. Oopsies. Oh, there's tape again. Oh, uh oh. Okay. Spared the paper. Let's get the tape too. What is this? A fridge? Probably is. Oh! What is this? It, it, triangle ABE is isosceles. I, I would not have seen this. I'm gonna be so honest. Alright. Take the tape. Stick it on my pant again. All right, so that goes here, and then this goes here. All right. Oh, am I finally done? Go to the big bathroom. <laughs> Fine. Let's just take this congruence proof thingy. Bro, why is the game master making me do math? Like, bro. I like, I'm, I get I'm Indian, I like math. It's not a racist thing, I, I just like math. But, I take everything? Okay. You always gotta, don't, gotta, I'm losing my words. All right, now I take this to the, where's the big bathroom? Never heard of it. All right, take this off, put this on top, take this, and now we go. Okay, that's enough. Crazy experience. Is this where it would be? Oh, there's a lot of things in here. Let's just sit this right here. With the pen. All right. Sorry. This is a, oh, hey, what's up? This is a 45, 45, 90 triangle because A is splits or bisects angle A in half and angle A is 90 and the same goes for B, E, and B. Oh, wait, this is a statement. Bro, I think we knew it was a 45, 45, 90 triangle. Shut up, you're dumb. what I do? Just go to the outside of the garage. Outside?
Bro, I thought this was only in the house. Now I gotta go out in the cold. No! Release my paper. Alright, alright. Dude, I wanna go outside. Again, I gotta go put the paper down somewhere because I'm not carrying this. All right. Dude, why do we gotta go outside? So extra, bro. Game Master, he's gonna, next time it's gonna be like English. All right. Dude, Game Master always does extra things, bro. It's like, so annoying. Oh my God. Wait, wasn't there like a congruence paper here? I swear there was, okay. Like, what? Not that much I can do now. I guess I just have to go outside and find out this where this congruence thing is. Which one do I open? I guess, uh... Dude, this is excessive. Okay, this is mad excessive. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, the proofs are here. Uh, circle the correct statement and reason. Circle, cut out the incorrect ones. Hold on. Dude, I wanna get out of here fast. EAB is congruent to 45. EBA is 45. Wait, these are all correct. Huh. Okay, let's do this right here because <laughs> I'm not doing that. This is correct. This is correct. And this is correct. Okay, so I'll, why do, what? All right, where next? You're done. Go back to the float chair wall in the walk-in closet. That's new. He moved it again, see what I mean? Next, like last time the shrine was moved cause some dude just threw it. it was, his name was Daniel, I think. He threw it somewhere. It's fine. Um. I, okay, then I'll just leave my, you know. Yep. Let's go to the closet. Let's go. All right. Wait, what is, what? A, B, A, wait, hold on. Let me, let me. All right. This probably means something. Let me just. All right. A, D, E, and B, C, E, share point E. A, D, E, B, C. Bro, that's useless. No one cares about that. I... Does that even, like, help? Uh, no. Not at all. All right, let's go to the closet for the flow chart. Dude, like, this is the closet. Wait. Really funny. I went the wrong way. Go back to your room for flow trouble. I was just... <laughs> what is with it with the dollar and the euro? 
Are you British? Like, I guess I'll take it. Give me the, give me the euro. I want a euro. I'm, you're broke. No, 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 I'm, I said I'm broke. I take it. Haha, -ha, wrong way. Yeah, no, I'm getting rid of you. You're getting banished. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Stick it there. All right. And we walk back to the flowchart room where I was originally and I got cheated. I don't like this. Why I get cheated on the things? You know? Sorry. Let's just close that door and head back to the... Oh, thank you, Ma Math Master. He put my tape on the door so I can find it again and stick this things and make a flowchart out of them. Remember, how am I supposed to stick the air out? Oh, wait, I have tape on the wall. I think uh, I'll find this out. Let me uh, let me build this flowchart real quick, and then I'll present it to y'all so that the math master doesn't murder me in some way, shape, or form. All right, now I'm going to do my proofs. First, here are my column proofs. Uh, right there, you can take a stare at them. The space in between is the reason. And you can take a nice look at that. You can take a little pause. A little closer. All right, and now I'm gonna do it in paragraph form. I'm just gonna read it. All right. Rectangle ABCD with E, the midpoint of DC, prove that angle EAB is congruent to angle EBA. So here's my first thing. Angle DC is congruent to angle AB because they're parallel. Angle, oh, sorry, not angle, my B. Line DC is congruent to line AB because they're parallel. Line DA and line CB are parallel, which, and then also angles A, D, B, and C are all congruent and are 90 degrees. This tells us the shape is a rectangle, at least the first shape. Then triangle ABE is inside rectangle DABC. And part of this angle E is the midpoint of DC, which helps tell that there's a triangle in it. Then line AE and BE, uh, lines are congruent because triangle is in the rectangle and the top point is E and the midpoint is DC. And you can also see it and the, and the shapes are drawn to scale. Uh, if I say anything wrong, just look at the, the paper uh, when I showed it before. Uh, triangle ABE is isosceles. This comes to the conclusion which if it's isosceles in the way it's shaped, this triangle is a 45-45-90 triangle because AE splits or bisects angle A in half and angle A is 90. And the same goes for BE and angle B, which now this tells that angle EAB is 45, angle EBA is 45, and angle AEB is 90. And uh, I don't know why this is here. This is pretty irrelevant, that, angle, that triangle ADE and... Triangle B, C, E, share point E. That doesn't really matter to this problem, but I don't know why that's there. But with all the evidence I just told, this tells us that angle E, A, B is congruent to angle E, B, A. Now I'm going to show you my flow chart on my wall, because if I didn't do this, the, you know, the math master would kill me and I would not be here. So let me show you that before he kills me. Okay, so I gave you both the column and the paragraph version of my flow chart. So now I'm gonna show you my flow chart that's on my wall. No one else has done this. I'm very unique. Okay, cool. Let's explain this how this is a flow chart. I gotta bring my little stool and climb up here. I'm not gonna look at the camera while I climb because that's very unsafe. Okay, so line DE is congruent to line AB, it's parallel. Line DA is parallel. Oh, it's congruent to line CB, it's parallel. And angle A, angle B, angle D, and angle C are all congruent to each other. Don't scan that code. That's a rickroll. So then these arrows all come to the shape's a rectangle. Then a triangle ABE is inside rectangle DABC. And this is also helped by angle E is the midpoint of DC, which is already given in the problem. So now I'm going to step down. By the way, this is for that shape. Now... 
line AE is congruent to line BE. Lines are congruent because the triangle is in the rectangle and the top point E is the midpoint of DC, which it's also shown in the things drawn to scale. Now you arrow down. AB, the triangle ABE is isosceles. Then this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle because it's isosceles. Because AE splits a bisect angle A in half and angle A is 90. And the same, uh, and yeah, and the same goes for BE and B. Then the, the angle sh should be angle EAB is 45, angle EBA is 45, and angle AEB is 90. See? 45, 45, and 90, right here. Which then will prove that angle EAB is congruent to EBA, because we even said it right here, they're both 45. So yes. That is my flow chart to prove that these two angles are congruent. Now, math master or whatever, please just let me leave. Oh, wait. He should respond. Wait a second. Does that mean? I'm free, I'm free, I'm free, I'm free. Well, I guess I get to go back to sleep now. Man, if I have to wake up one more time, I'm going to be so sad. Because uh, from what I heard from James, the, the teleport dude, if I go to sleep, I should change dimensions, correct? <sighs> I just want to get out of here. Oh my god, there's stuff in this bed. Like, pens and everything. <sighs> Man. Doing these adventures are hard and... I mean, they are fun, but I just want to go to sleep. So, yeah, goodbye. Hey, this is Editor Rohan coming back at this. Yeah, thank you for watching. Especially my math teacher for giving this project because... Um, it made me explore my creed. Not really, but I remember I asked her a question. I was like, can I, I was there a time limit? And she goes, no, just don't make it like a film. And one of my classmates were like, you should make it a film. So I pretty much just pulled off the camera plays the movie, but like a bonus scene kind of. Uh, this could be canon, uh, in the movie. <laughs> I don't know. Y'all can pick, but, um, yeah, um, I gotta turn this in now, but it'll still be on YouTube for you to watch. So this is technically still, this is canon technically of the camera plays the movie. Um, this is also, uh, by, uh, Brandon also kind of gave me the idea because his Membean essay was kind of written on this. He summarized the actual movie in about two pages. So, I mean, uh, pre pretty good. And, uh, yeah, I hope I get a good grade on this. Uh, it took me a while. I printed like 30 sheets of paper um, and uh, I'm now lost of paper and uh, it took a while. I mean, recording all of it, sticking all these papers around my house, uh, having my parents be quiet because, uh, you know, I don't want background sound and stuff like that. And then obviously writing down this entire, sorry, I was trying to scroll it, this entire script. Uh, yeah, but thanks for watching. Uh, there's I'm not gonna do a sponsorship because that's a this is a this is a project. <laughs> Why would I do that? I, I'm not gonna do that, but I know it's on YouTube. So leave a like, subscribe, mm. leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and leave a comment down below on what I should do next or what else the movie should have or what else it should spread off into. Some people said I should do a Spider-Man movie, but um, I might I might think about it. Uh, I'm also yapping a lot, so I'm gonna just stop. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, I'm I actually have to go sleep now. Because I'm tired. Uh, this took me like six hours. Oh my. Okay, goodbye.